Today I'm going to show you how to light a fire in the wilderness using only natural materials. The things you need to collect first of all are some fairly thick sticks to make a base for your fire. If the ground's damp it won't light so put about four or five of these in a row in the bottom of your fire pit like I've done here. Next there's a number of different things we have to collect to light the fire. Um, first of all I'll show you the three different sort of sticks you're going to need. The smallest ones are called matchsticks and that is about the size of a matchstick. You want a good handful of those and they're going to be um, key to lighting your fire. Next you'll need pencils, size of a pencil. Lastly fingers, size of a finger. So it's matchsticks, pencils and fingers. When you're collecting this wood it's really important that you're only collecting dry wood. Wet wood's not going to burn. To tell if the wood's dry, pick up one of your sticks and if it snaps cleanly it's dry and it will burn well. So we'll just have a look and see this, if this one's any good. That's fine, that'll burn fine. After that you want some fuel to go on the fire to keep it going and I've got a pile of thicker sticks here to burn. But to get the whole thing going in the first place you want a tinder bundle. I've just collected bits of dry grass, moss um, and dead leaves from the forest floor. Anything like that will be fine. If it's um, nearer a field you might find more dry grass, got a bit of feather in there as well. It's basically really dry stuff that's going to burn well. If anything's got a bit of green on it, like this green leaf, that's not going to burn, so you can chuck that, it's not going to work. We're going to presume we haven't got any matches today, so instead we're going to be using a flint to light the fire with. And that's all we need, what we can find on the forest floor, and that. Let's go. So my first job, on top of my um, row of logs I've put in the fire pit is to put the tinder bundle on top of that in a nice pile and then around that we put the matchsticks which are going to catch fire most easily. And all the way around we're basically making a pyramid shape so the heat can rise up through the tinder bundle, catch fire to the matchsticks. top of the matchsticks go the pencils. You might like to save a bit of your tinder bundle because the fire doesn't light first time. You might be needing that again in a minute. And again we're working on this pyramid shape so the heat comes up through the pile. And then lastly, on go the finger sized pieces of wood. <laughs> Leave a small gap open at one side of the, your pyramid and that's what we're going to use the flint for now to try and light it. It should work. That's burning now. Now just make sure the tinder bundle is nicely over that flame to keep it burning. And that should rise up through the sticks and set fire to the whole thing now hopefully. If it starts dying down a bit you can always blow on it to try and get the fire going again. what I'm going to have to do now I think.
and once your sticks catch fire, you've got a fire going. To smother the fire but as soon as you've got a decent flame like that you can start putting on some of your proper fuel you don't want the fire to die down too much before you put those on fire is now good enough to keep you warm in an evening sat up by the camp. If you want to cook on it, remember, let it die down and turn into charcoal first. And there we have it, the campfire. Flames have died down now and this fire is now ideal to cook on. That's what you want, glowing embers like that. You don't want flames that will just burn your food. These embers, red hot, you can't keep your hand there, that's good enough to cook on. <laughs>